Welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, the show dedicated to helping entrepreneurs use human design to shift from hustle to flow without sacrificing results. Come here to become an unshakable human and build an unshakable business according to your human design. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. Hello and welcome to Unshakable with Human Design, everybody. I'm your host, Nicole Lano. We are here to talk about Something in the business world, certainly the business of human design world, this gets talked about a lot. We're going to talk about the Mercury Gate and your messaging. This is a hot topic. This is something that there's a big fuss about. It has been for about a year or so where everybody talked about your messaging is in your Mercury Gate. And what I want to talk about that in this episode is what it actually means. And I, I, I want to show you how I use this when I work with executives, because this can be used both as a messaging tactic, but also understanding how you communicate and what you communicate. I want to dig into just what the Mercury Gate is and what it isn't. If you're in the entrepreneurial space at all or in, in, in the world of business and you've dabbled in the world of human design for business, I'm sure you've heard this concept that your message is your Mercury Gate specifically the conscious Mercury. And we're going to talk about both. I'm going to talk about the distinction between them and how I use this and what you can do. I'm going to run through what the Mercury gate is and what it isn't. I'm going to go into the trouble that I see a lot of people get into when they get fixated on their Mercury gate and they're trying to figure out how to use it in their messaging. There's some consistent things that happen. And then I'm going to show you actually how to use it, how I use it, and some examples of, of how that can work. So let's dive in. Before we do, if you are interested in the business of human design, if you are an entrepreneur, and particularly if you fall into that mindset coachy kind of world, transformational coaching services, then I have something for you. We're doing a three-day workshop, which we're actually right in the midst of, but you can still join us. It's called Unlock Your Voice. It is all about building a podcast funnel by design, human design for messaging and positioning. I'll show you how you do that in the workshop, and I'll show you how to build a podcast funnel so that you are creating evergreen content that actually moves people to buy from you. It's transformed my business. This podcast has monetized over $100,000. And in the last year, since I became very intentional with this podcast, it is my main source of revenue now, nurturing and people discovering me. And I'll be sharing that inside that workshop. So if you'd like to join us, go to nicoleano.me forward slash masterclass, or you can go to nicoleano.me forward slash podcast links where we have all the links. Or if you're on here right now, just go to Instagram if that's easier for you and DM me the words podcast workshop and an autoresponder will send you all the links to that to get you registered. Okay, so let's get started. Let's dive into the Mercury Gate, what it is and what it isn't we're going to start with. So what is the Mercury Gate? So Mercury is a position. And this is where human design is a combination. It brings together several esoteric systems. It brings together the Chinese I Ching, the Kabbalah Tree of Life, the Hindu chakra system, astrology, and quantum physics. All of this is brought together and gives us the body graph that you see whenever you run a chart. Some things are defined. Those are the things that are colored in. And the stuff that is white is the stuff that is undefined for you. Now, with the Mercury Gate, what we're talking about is we're combining the Chinese I Ching with astrology. We are saying it is a planetary activation. And which gate do you have activated in that particular planet? Which gate was in that placement? Which gate was Mercury in at the time you were born for the conscious side? And then which gate was Mercury in 88 degrees of the sun before you were born, which is roughly 88 days. Not exactly. It might be a little bit more, a little bit less depending, but roughly 88 days before you were born the unconscious side, the design side was set. Mercury was in another position there. So they take another calculation and that's how we get your Mercury placement. So my Mercury placement is gate 29. Now, the reason why everybody says this is so important is because Mercury is the planet that rules our communication. That is its job. That's what Mercury does. So we're going to take it a step further. We're going to say, okay, Mercury is the gate of communication. How you communicate, what you communicate, is going to sit in that particular gate. That's the imprint that you have. Because that's really what we're talking about with human design. We are talking about the stream of stardust that got imprinted on you at the time you were born and 88 degrees before the time of your birth, but the, the position of the sun at the time of your birth. There's an imprint on us. 
That's what it is. My birthday is September 8th. I am a Virgo. There is Virgo imprinting on me. My conscious son is gate 64. There is that imprint on me. It's why we carry the energy that we do. We are part of that energetic imprint. That is what is part of us and that is part of what drives us. Now the planets tell us which part they drive, meaning the Mercury planet is the planet that rules our communication. And the gate that sits within Mercury, that Mercury was in that placement at the time of our birth and 88 degrees of the sun before then, that is the gate that kind of flavors our communication style. So I'm going to give you an example of how this works. But what I see happen with a lot of people with this gate, when they hear about the Mercury placement first, the first mistake is they get really fixated on it and tunnel vision focused on it where they're just like trying to figure out what the Mercury gate means. And a lot of times they're looking at it in a vacuum. They're looking at it all by itself, isolating it and just being like, what does this gate mean? Now, sometimes the gate is super self-explanatory and there's like a big late bulb moment and you're like, oh my God, this makes so much sense. It's totally me. And then sometimes it's like, what does that mean? I don't understand what this is supposed to mean for me, or it sounds like it means something bad. So say you have gate 64, which is the gate of confusion. I, I communicate confusion. That can sound really terrible, but it doesn't have to be, and it's not always that literal. So if you say, I'm an accountant and I communicate confusion, my message is confusion. How does that fit together? And this is why I never look at these things in isolation. This is part of the trouble that I see people get into is they just look at the gate and they're not looking at anything else. They're not looking at their expertise, really. They're so fixated on the gate and trying to get the gate to mean something, to give them some aha, to give them some light bulb moment, to have something feel like connected to that's going to answer this question that they have. It's usually coming from a place of lack. I don't feel like I have a message. I don't feel like people are hearing me. Once I understand my Mercury gate, then everything's going to change. Guess what? It doesn't usually when you're in that space, when you're in that way of operating and that way of thinking. When that's what's driving you, we very rarely get what we are looking for. This is sort of like when you're looking for your keys and you're obsessing over and you're like, where are they? And you're running around and you're looking everywhere and your energy is about, I've got to find the keys. We all know what happens. We say, oh, I can't find them. We walk away. We go take a pee. And then we're like, oh, my God, they're in the drawer. I forgot to look there. That's how it works. And it's the same thing with the Mercury gate. It's the same thing with all of the activations. It's the same thing with all of them because they all mean something. And they all are all a piece in the puzzle that help us figure out exactly how to use human design in our business in our messaging, in our branding, in our world. Now, it's also very applicable to our personal lives, but it's in business what we're speaking about here. Now, whether you have a corporate job or you're an entrepreneur, everyone's communicating something. It is valuable to know what you communicate naturally and what do you always want to talk about. What's the thing that you talk about and people hear it in a different way? What is the thing that you talk about and it carries another vibration, a vibration that is so unique and authentic to you that people resonate with it immediately? That's the power of knowing this. So it's powerful in every aspect, but certainly entrepreneurs were messaging all the time. Our messaging is everything. The Mercury Gate isn't everything to our message. It is a clear piece that can help differentiate you and help position you. And for me, it did play a part in me understanding what I could let go of in my messaging. We can get confused where we can end up feeling like we are talking about so many things. Maybe I should be talking about this. Maybe I should tell them about this. Maybe I should write a post about this. Maybe I should do a podcast about this. And instead of doing that, instead of feeling like you're all over the place, especially all of my fellow Manny Gens, where we love all the different things, 
We are multi-passionate beings. We love bouncing around and telling people all the things we know because we know so much. We're good at a lot of things. But what it can do is it can help you narrow down your focus. And I'm going to talk about this in the workshop as well. It's reverse niching. When you start to work with human design, you start to understand how you are differentiated. Rather than niching down the person that you are talking to, you niche down yourself. You niche down who you are. You get very, very clear on the aspects of you, what I communicate, how I communicate, what I teach, what do people respond to with me. And then you test. But usually when you put that out there, you're going to see who responds. People will respond strongly to it. And then you can start understanding what their problems are. You can start to get deeper into it of, of who that person is. But it starts with you. And Mercury Gate and the planetary placements are, are tools that I use when helping somebody build their message and position themselves according to their human design. This is why it can be so powerful. So I'll give you some examples. Let, let's do an example of me. My conscious Mercury is Gate 29. So that's what I talk about. Conscious Mercury is the thing you can't help but talk about. The thing that when you talk about it, everybody is just like, tell me more. Now, Gate 29 appears multiple times in my chart. So this happens to be a very strong theme for me. That tells me a couple of things about it. That tells it a, a, a few things about how it might play out in my life, in my business, in my work. But specifically, when we're talking about the Mercury Gate, I look at the line that I have it in, but I'm also looking at gate 29. It's such a strong theme for me that it, it, it did hit me over the head. It did. When I, when I read the gate 29, and, and it's also one of the easier ones to understand. Some of the gates are very confusing and some of them are just like, duh, I get that. Gate 29 is the gate of commitments. It is the gate of saying yes. It is the gate of saying yes to things that you truly respond to that light you up saying yes to the right things. Are you committing your energy to the right things or are you committing your energy to the wrong things? And that is what's causing you to either succeed or fail in life. It, very much my message, right? That's very much my message. I teach you human design, respond to the right things, literally generators. That is the message that I have for you. But teaching you ways of tuning into yourself, your own authority, your power, and only giving your power to the things that are right for you. Committing to the right things is the secret to success. That is a message that I have. And that is a message that has served me very, very well since I started to get very clearly focused on it. Just like with the podcast funnel. Focus your efforts on the thing that is right for you. Have it be where you're channeling your energy into something that is correct. Commit to the right things. Build your business by design. It's all part of it. There are other aspects of my design that make up my message, though. It is not the entire thing, the Mercury Gate. And people get confused by that. They try to make it all of it. And they end up doing the exact opposite thing that you want to do when you're building your messaging and positioning yourself by design is they start to sound like everybody else. They're looking for some definition in a book. It's going to tell them, this is what I talk about. This is how I speak. This is what I communicate. And that's just not the case. You have to interpret it to how it has played out in your life. Like I said, some of them more straightforward. Others are going to be a little bit more complex or you might have to ponder them more. And just because mine was very clear about what the gate means, it does not mean that it was super clear to me or it hasn't changed and I haven't gotten further clarity on how that plays out in my business since then. It is constantly evolving because I'm constantly evolving and my business is constantly evolving. And these things start to deepen as we contemplate and live them more. They start to become much more clear and they change. And they're allowed to. And our message is allowed to change and evolve with us. So let's say you have gate three, right? Gate three is the gate of ordering. It is called difficulty at the beginning. My message is difficulty at the beginning. Oh, what does that mean? This is one of them where this is an individual gate. There are so many layers to this. It's very creative in nature. 
this is where inside my Unshakable Entrepreneur Program, inside my masterminds and my private coaching, when people work with me on this stuff, what I do is I, I help you interpret the gate. I help you interpret all the elements of your chart to see how the pieces all fit together for you and layering it on with your expertise. And then we layer on marketing and actual messaging frameworks that induce and help people buy, inspire people to buy. So with gate three, if I were just to look at that, it's like, oh, difficulty at the beginning. It's another one that sounds kind of bad, right? It sounds negative, difficulty. I'm not selling difficulty. I want it to be easy. Well, it's also about overcoming challenges. It's also about loving starting new things and only starting the things that are correct. And while it's different than gate 29 of saying yes to the right things, gate three has this, I, I want to start new things all the time. New, new, new. Forget about the old. I don't want to do anything. It doesn't want to commit. It wants to change. It wants things to be different. So we would start to layer this on top of what is it that you do? I have a client who is a health coach. I have lots of health coach clients, actually. But say you're a health coach and you are helping somebody with a new stage in their life. There's a new stage that they're going into and you help them with that. And that becomes part of your message. Maybe it's part of the stories that you tell. Maybe it's part of the way that you position the content that you write. It's about beginnings. It's about hope at the beginning, about fun beginnings. You can start to play with these things. And I hope you're seeing it's very specific to the person, to the business, to their life, to their story. And then you see how all of this plays out. And it's not just about saying, okay, difficulty at the beginning. It's got to be about beginnings. It's got to be about starting things. It, it has to be about what's right for you and your business and taking the other elements of your chart into account. And that's what most people don't do. They get very, very focused on it's got to be this. It's got to be the definition. It has to be done this way. And they get really confused because they're putting themselves in a box. And it, it, it isn't really about that. These are activations. They literally are. That's what we call them. Mercury is activated by gate 29. 29 is activated by the Mercury placement. They're activations in you. Let them activate something in your business. Let them activate something in your messaging. That's really the game that we're playing when we are building the business by design. And it isn't just about knowing these things. If you're not in alignment with the gate that is your Mercury gate, if I'm not saying yes to the right things, if I'm not walking the walk in that and I start to talk the talk of that, it will not have the effect that I want it to. It will not draw people in the way that it's supposed to and the way that it so easily can if we're in alignment with it. So it's a two-pronged assault. We have to be living the design. We have to be in a high frequency, a high expression of the gate that we want to be using, of the one that we want to be transmitting, because we want a good signal to go out. And that's what most people are missing. They want the definition. They get the definition, but they're not actually living it. They're not actually following their strategy and authority. So everything's all off. They're getting very stuck in their heads. And it's not really translating. And they're wondering why it doesn't work. This is why. It's a holistic approach. It's not a quick fix. It can be a quick aha if you've done a lot of personal development work, if you've started living by your design. And I do find that a lot of people with design who've done a lot of personal development work, they've arrived at a lot of, they've done a lot of the deconditioning naturally by using other modalities. I did with my tapping. I deconditioned very naturally that way. You can certainly come in very far into the game and very close to it and start to see real real epiphanies with your message and your brand when you start looking at it this way. However, I, I think people get their hopes up that it's going to be this magic bullet. I'm going to learn my Mercury gate. My message is all going to make sense to me and everyone else. And everybody's just going to start buying and I'll make a million dollars. And it, it very rarely works that way. There, there are other elements. It's sold that way. People sell programs like that, telling you that this is the thing. You need this one thing and then it'll all be over. 
it's easier to sell that way because it sounds so good. But really, it's tougher to sell because it's more complex. You need to live it. You need to be using it. You need to be working with it. And you need to allow it to be activated in you. You drop the thought in, okay, it's the gate of ordering. I have gate three in my Mercury gate. Uh, I know it has something to do with beginnings. I'm going to contemplate this for a bit. I'm going to let this sit and I'm going to see what activates in me. What do I naturally start speaking about? Can I notice it in my life? And that's when you start to see the magic of this stuff unfold. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please join us in the workshop. It's called Unlock Your Voice. It is a three-day workshop where we're going to break down human design for messaging and positioning your brand. So how do we position you as an authority? How do we position your messaging so that it is inspiring people to buy? And then I'm also going to take you through how you build a podcast funnel, how you launch, grow, and monetize. Monetize is very important. A podcast all in the three-day workshop. It's going to be amazing. It's a really, really in-depth, cool workshop. I'm super excited about it. It's going on right now. If you're listening to this the day that this episode drops, please join us. You can go to nicolelano.me forward slash masterclass or DM me the words podcast workshop, and we will send you the link there. And if you're just interested in living by your design, please check out the Human Design Lab. That is our monthly membership where we dive in deep each month into a different aspect of design. You also get access to a really great accelerator course with human design. It gives you type, authority, and profile. And it's just a really wonderful community, and people are getting some really tremendous results in there. Please check it out. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash lab to check out the membership over there. I hope you loved this. Let me know if you did. Drop me a little DM and Instagram to let me know that you loved the episode. Subscribe to this show so that you don't miss any. And remember, if you want to have an unshakable business, you must first become an unshakable human. So go out there and be unshakable, everybody. Thanks for helping us help you on that journey. See you soon. If you love this episode and you're a fan of the show, please show us the love on iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you're listening to the show and leave us a review. And if you'd like to connect with other entrepreneurs on their human design journey, join our free Facebook community, Human Design for Entrepreneurs. Go to nicolelano.me forward slash podcast links to join the group, book a human design reading with me, or access our free human design resources. We'll see you there.